Good morning. Uh, this is the Tuesday, August 22nd meeting of the Railroad Transportation Safety District, uh, a special meeting to set the levy. My name is Deb Shore. I'm serving as chair of the Lancaster County Board. To my left, uh, Roy Christensen, who's vice chair from the city council, and Cindy Lamb. And on my right, Jane Ribble from city council and fellow county commissioners, Jennifer Brinkman and Todd Welch. And we have all members present here. I will call this meeting to order and note that the RTSD is subject and adheres to the Nebraska Open Meetings Act. A copy of the Open Meetings Act is posted and available for inspection at the entrance of this meeting room. The notice of today's meeting and the agenda, as well as copies of materials that are being considered at today's meeting, were posted on the RT RTSD website, which may be linked from both the City of Lincoln and Lancaster County official government websites. The notice, agenda, and materials are also available for inspection at the RTSD offices at 949 West Bond Street, Suite 200. In addition, on June 1st, 2017, the notice of today's meeting and the agenda were posted on the city and county's bulletin boards at City Hall, first floor, 555 South 10th Street. A copy of the agenda is also available at the entrance to this meeting room. Um, moving along on the agenda, uh, item three, approval of the minutes from the previous meeting. Second. Motion is second, and I will note that some minor grammatical uh, corrections and additions were made uh, from the time that the minutes were originally posted, so we are approving uh, the finalized version. Any additional questions? Call the roll, please. Yes. Christensen? Yes. Diane? Yes. 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 Motion passes unanimously. Item four, consideration of the FY1718 budget revenue levy request. And in that this is a special meeting, and before I uh, ask uh, Liz, our budget analyst, and Roger, the executive director, to come forward, I will provide a little background on uh, why we're here today. At its June 5th, 17 meeting, the RTSD board approved the proposed budget. 12-year capital improvement program and the cash flow projection as presented and requested a preliminary supporting levy from the Lancaster County Board in the amount of .023 per $100 of actual valuation. Having recently received the official data showing the actual property values higher than anticipated, it has been determined that a lower levy is necessary to support the activities of the RTSD. Based upon the information provided by the Lancaster County Assessor's Office in the past few days, a levy of .022217 per $100 of actual property valuation will be necessary to support the RTSD's 1718 fiscal year approved budget. And with that background, I'll ask Liz to come forward at this time. show what will happen with the 12 year CIP with a, um, a levy of point of 2.2217 over the next oh, 12 years. Do we, did I take two? Okay. Sorry about that. And this information will be available on the website. It was not linked to the original agenda as the numbers were just uh, received uh, late Thursday. So this projects over the 12-year period what the projected cash flow balance will be at the far right column if you had a 2.2217 levy for each of the future years. Uh, it does uh, use some estimates uh, with valuations. The current year valuation, of course, is in at 8.7% increase. The reval years are estimated with a 5% increase. Non reval years are at 2% increase. And uh, then the 12 year CIP is shown in the column under capital project expenditures. Operating expenditures are estimated at a 2% increase every year. So at the end of 12 years, even with the lower 2.2217, you would have an ending balance of $21,842,996. That does include 
the 10 million that you will be paying in the next few days for the um, project with the, another $10 million payment in a year and the other uh, 33rd and Cornhusker project. All of the projects that are scheduled so far in that CIP of $75,670,000 is included in this projection. Questions for Liz? Mm -hmm. Okay, seeing none. Uh, Roger, would you give us a little bit of background on um, flexibility that we still would have for either potential projects, unforeseen projects, and while Liz mentioned uh, those couple large projects, that budget still includes the regular operating maintenance. Yes, uh, this, this cash flow takes into account the entire 12-year CIP that was presented in June for that same budget and those projects are all fundable. There always is the opportunity, as there was late in the last fiscal year, the Jamaica Trail project came up. We added that into the CIP, adjusted the uh, cash flow, and we analyzed whether or not that was fundable, and it was. Each year, the board considers budget, uh, CIP, and what cash flows are necessary. Upcoming projects such as the Hobson Yard possible track relocation uh, is not included in here other than the study money. Should a project like that or another one that might come forward or a significant change in the cost of a particular project becomes known at that point, I would work with uh, the accounting staff, Liz and Dennis, and we would analyze um, the impact of the budget and what levy would be required to support that. And so each year, this board has an opportunity to not only request the upcoming year levy, but uh, present a cash flow or accept a cash flow that could be on some other levy schedule. So while well, this one currently shows the 2.2217 throughout, um, any time throughout the year and certainly in June, we'd be readdressing that and that could be changed uh, or amended at the pleasure of this board to support the projects and the budget they want to do. So Roger, I'm just reviewing the, the minutes of our last meeting and it says the proposed budget consists of 85500 for operating costs, recommended CIP crossing costs of 12420000 for a total budget of 12598800 and then um, it looks like uh, you had a, a lower amount for the capital projects expenditures. Oh, but I, I'm it, that probably excludes the eighty five thousand five hundred for operations. That's correct. Okay, all right. So, and um, we don't need to worry about the the payment of ten million dollars in the the next few days f no. uh, for your contribution to the South Beltway project. That is accounted for, and as soon as we receive that invoice, we will be ma issuing payment and. Uh, Stand, Exciting times. Stand ready with pen in hand. Yes. Any other questions? More of a comment, basically to clarify what we're talking about for upcoming years. We do expect next year will be another revaluation for commercial property, but we have the opportunity every year to make our adjustments to the levy. Yes. And maybe for those folks that are listening, uh, my understanding from the county board standpoint, um, they are financially in a situation where they are not needing or proposing to use any of that 15 cent for the local uh, subdivisions. So the RTSD board would have the ability to consider anything from a zero levy all the way to the, the legislative max of the 2.6 cents at their discretion and need. Todd? Yeah, I'll just confirm that, Roger. Um, from the county board, um, we've informed the, at least I did, I informed the, the mayor that um, we would not need to utilize any part of the RTSD levy. Um, so our original agreement, um, informal agreement, was that we would eventually restore the levy to its full amount next year. Um, given the increase in residential valuations, we are able to, to do that, fulfill that obligation this year. And so, yeah, we do not need to utilize any part of the RTSD levy. And so um, with that. Um, so the decision to go back to 2.6 rests 
solely then with the RTSD board to be able to make that request? There are no restrictions okay. placed on the RTSD board from the county board. Okay. You have full funding authority for the full amount. Okay. Very good. Any other questions? If oh. not. I guess with that, uh, Madam Chair, I would make a motion. Uh, I move to approve the amended cash flow projection as presented and authorize the executive director to take all actions deemed necessary to submit to the Lancaster County Board a revised supporting levy requested of .022217 per $100 of actual property valuation in order to fund the approved RTSD budget for the 2017-2018 fiscal year. Second. Any other additional questions or comments? If not, call the roll, please. Yes. 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 The motion passes unanimously. Um, we'll give it uh, time now for public comment. Anyone wishing to make public comment? We'll note our next meeting is September 12th at 11 a.m. in this same room. And with that, a motion to adjourn? So moved. Second. Second. Many seconds. Uh, meeting of 12 minutes. Call the roll, please. Yes. 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 Thank you very much.